Thursday, March 14th, 2024. If you have seen my other build videos of the Bear Hawk, you will recognize this rotisserie. And this is what's going to be used again on the sling. And I'll show you how I've installed both of these receivers and how this rotisserie works. So let's start here with this uh, modified engine mount or engine stand. This is just a Harbor Freight engine stand. I modified it to give it a little bit more height and it's got a tube up here, about a three inch tube as a receiver. And I've got this tube here that fits inside and these holes are for a pin. So when it rolls in a certain position, I can drop the pin in there, hold it in place. I've uh, attached a U-joint here to stop any kind of binding. And then this plate mounts to this one inch piece of plywood that is mounted to the front side of the engine mount. And then on the back of the engine mount, I've installed a web, which basically holds all of that together on the rear side. So there's no distortion or twisting of the engine mount. It will be supported on both sides. So we'll go down here to the rear. This is a little bit more involved. Essentially, this is a halo that surrounds the entire tail cone. This angle is attached here at that uh, bulkhead um, with those four bolts. And then you can see these welds. We've welded this horizontal. Down underneath there is a three quarter inch threaded rod that goes through the, the uh, tie down and that's secured in place and supported by a uh, rubber hose and just put a washer on either side and then um, clamp down on that to keep that thing from moving around and, and actually prevents the um, tie down from getting any wear or tear on it as well. So it's pretty well supported on the top and the bottom. And then we have two forks or a fork I guess you could call it that comes off of here onto a plate that also connects to a U-joint, another, another tube going into this receiver here and the other modified engine mount. The critical piece to all of this is really this, this uh, spine that connects the two and that way you don't get any movement and nothing uh, is distorted or anything like that. So once the once these are on the stands, then the spines will go in, lock it all together, and then um, we'll have the sling on the rotisserie. So the question is, why do we need a rotisserie? I don't think we need a rotisserie. I just happen to have one. I used it before on my previous build and I thought it was uh, really convenient. Um, especially when painting. I don't intend to fully rotate this fuselage 360 degrees. It'll probably only go up on its side and I can access the interior and do things like we're well, working on wiring and uh, you know, other things. Uh, also, it'll be good for accessing antenna locations and have an easy access to that but more importantly it will be for the painting part of this project and so um, I do probably intend to get this painted a little bit sooner than most and I will probably be painting before I install the undercarriage so um, that's how that rotisserie will be utilized using the Rotisserie now gives me some added mobility and uh, it's very convenient to move this around different you know, locations in the shop if I need to. And then uh, I'll demonstrate here how the rotisserie works when rotating. <laughs> 